Hi, I had a video out recently where I described how I chain my puppies up to the fence to teach them patience and it teaches them to control their adrenaline and to wait for their turn to work. And what I do is I just chain them to the fence and then I go about my business um, and then I'll come back to them and make it something fun for them. Either they get to work or, or do something fun afterwards. But I wanted to um, explain a couple safety tips and then as soon as I'm done explaining, I'll show little uh, three month old Petey uh, who is my puppy kit's litter mate, um, his first time on the chain. So I just put these chains together. I um, go to the hardware store or the farm supply store and get pieces of chain. And then I'll get uh, one end is a hook that's, um, you just screw it tight to put at the top. And then the bottom, I wanted to explain, I also do a hook and this one's loose, but I get these clips to attach to their collars. It, this is the important part. It needs to swivel because you don't want them getting tangled up in their chains. So you need a swivel, okay? That's important. So I'm going to chain Jay up. Jay, come here. Here's another part. Wait, don't make it too long for him to get tangled up. So I just make it, now well, this one's a little short. I make it so they can comfortably lay down if they want or sit, either one. So I have wire on my round pin. I'm actually uh, predator proofing it as well as uh, dog proofing it. So see, it's just, it's just um, barely, uh, not quite touching the ground. And that's how long I, I make them. Jay, come here. Come here, Clay. <laughs> so, um, okay, look at Jay here. So what I've got is, Jay is bomb proof. I mean, he's totally bomb proof. I could, um, I could swat flies with a fly swatter off his hind end here and he just lays there and lets me do it. So I'm just going to pretend that he's barking and I'll show you how I discipline him. So if he were barking, what are you doing there? He wants to go work. He knows we're going to go work in a minute. So what I do is if they're barking, I don't hit them. I, I say, I quiet. Yes, I know. I know you're not making a noise. <laughs> Good boy. Um, but I'll just do that. Now I've got Cinchy over here, he's a bit, he's not bomb proof, but he's being noisy and antsy. And so I just go, hey, quit, quit. And that's all I do. If they're really bad, I'll, I'll, I'll clobber them, you know, I'll hit them with the hat. Hey, but I don't do that very often. Very rarely I have to do that. I just hit the fence, it makes a loud noise. And I go, hey, quiet. And see, he could care less because he is from proof. So anyway, uh, that's what I do to calm the older dogs down. Now I'm going to show you a video of Petey. His first, very first time, he's uh, three and a half. No, he's just three. He's actually uh, 11 and a half weeks old in the video. And he's never been on a, a chain before. So I'll show you that here. I've got my friend's... Um, three month old puppy here and this is Petey and this is his first time off the ranch they have a cattle ranch he's actually been introduced to cattle and he's absolutely not afraid but this is his first time being tied up uh, uh, uh. it's okay it's okay it's okay 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 this is his first time being chained up and he doesn't know me okay we're teaching them a little patience today by chaining them up on the fence line now he was fine when this little sister's litter mate was next to him but now that she's gone he doesn't like it so we're just going to teach him a little bit about patience 
So I'm, I'm giving him some security right now and I'm going to sit him down. It's okay. I'm not just going to leave him right away because I want him to feel secure. It's okay. He's shaking, so he's scared. It's okay. So today, since it's his first time, I'm just going to let him be feel secure here, and I'm not going to abandon him and leave him. But as he gets more comfortable with it, then I will hijack. Then we can walk away from him. Jack. Hey, Jack. Jack. <laughs> and that puppy growled at him. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. I'll just give him some confidence and, 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 and let him feel secure that I'm not going to abandon him. There we go. So it's his first time. It's also his first time on a leash today, so we're kind of overwhelming him. So I wouldn't normally do that. So when you get your puppy, lead train first, then start leaving him on a, on a chain like this. And then uh, once he feels secure, you can just go off and do your thing. Yeah, so my friend Gene is here, his owner, and um, they have a cow-calf operation, I guess you call it, huh? Registered cattle. Yeah, they have registered cattle, and they, um, and that's what Petey's going to be doing in his adult life is uh, working cows. So. We're going to leave Petey here, and, and then when he gets upset, then Gene will walk up and calm him down and leave him. Now, as time goes on, not today, but the next time we do this, and this is something you do every day, and uh, you just chain them up and then leave them be. And I would leave them, I leave them on their leash, leash for, um, on their chain about 30 minutes a day. And so... Today I would not, normally I would um, slap my glove when they start to have a fit. I would go, ah, ah, and uh, have them calm down. But he, I wouldn't do that to him today. We're just going to let him feel comfortable and secure. Good boy, good boy. And tell him he's a good boy when he's quiet and calm. Good boy, that's right. <laughs> oh, the joys of Liz living in the desert. We get thistles. All right. Okay, we'll see. We'll just leave them here. Jean's going to be here, and um, we're going to go about our business. Uh, I'll be working some dogs in the pen in a little bit, and we'll just see how he does. All right. Good. Good boy. All right.